Hello students, today we are doing part 5 of lesson 8 from your science textbook for standard 8, Pollution. So come along then, let's read and understand it. This video was made just for you. Do remember to like, share and subscribe. Next is soil pollution. So can you recall what is meant by soil erosion? And what are the reasons for depletion of soil fertility? Soil erosion, we have learnt when the top layer of the soil gets blown away or flown away by the water. Okay, so that is called soil erosion. Okay, so, so soil is lost. And what could be the reason for depletion of soil fertility? Depletion means the soil fertility. Fertility of the soil is going, becoming less and less. What are the reasons? Okay. So, let's learn some of them now. Out of the total land area of the soil, some is covered by ice, some is desert, whereas some is occupied by mountains and hills. So, total land that we have on this earth. Okay. So, we don't, we hardly have any land for our consumption. So, it is covered with ice. We can't do anything. It is covered covered with desert we can't do anything about that and there are mountains and hills we can't do anything so very less area of land is available for our use so soil is said to be polluted where there are changes in its physical biological and chemical properties and its fertility decreases due to either natural or man-made reasons so this is what is soil pollution so soil pollution occurs by biological or chemical that is man-made or natural means okay so anything that you know decreases the fertility of the soil is called soil pollution now look at these two pictures given alongside by looking at the picture itself and here they said compare this compare the two neighboring photographs so these two photographs by looking at the uh, photographs or the pictures itself we can understand the quality of the soil one is so rich and fertile isn't it anything that we'll put will grow so well but the other picture looks so the soil looks so bad it is full filled with so filled with uh, you know salts so now Give five examples of each of the domestic waste, biological waste and agricultural waste and write it in your own words about the soil pollution due to these waste. So, you can make three columns and write uh, the three uh, waste that happens. Domestic waste means waste that is created in our homes. Biological is due to the nature okay, and agricultural waste. So, these are the three waste that is uh, generated. So, make three columns and uh, you can write down five examples of each. Each. And to check your answers, you can visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com. Now, discuss the issues like dry waste, wet waste, toilet in each home and write your information in your own words. Now, what are the effects of soil pollution? What happens because of soil pollution? So, one is soil fertility decreases due to mixing of salty, acidic water from the industries. So, if we leave all this, you know, uh, put a lot of this chemical waste water that goes into the into the soil. So, the soil will become salty. If you see the second picture given, it is that salty you know, there is salt content more in the soil. So, then what happens is when there is a lot of salt content, the crops can't grow well. We have then next is radioactive and other pollutants enter and pass through food chain like the soil, crop, water and human body. So, if there is a lot of radioactive material, so like I told you the atomic research centers and all that, they do research and when they are doing uh, producing a lot of things, so radioactive material is generated which goes back into the soil or it goes, it's consumed by the crops and water bodies and it goes into to our human body. The third is the problem of water pollution increases due to soil pollution. So, because of that, what happens is so the uh, if the soil is polluted and when it rains, okay, so the rain water will carry all these pollutants from the soil and so it will carry into the rivers and oceans and so the water bodies will be affected and to toxic substances that is harmful hazardous substances leach into water leach means they go spread into the water and similarly diseases spread through various pathogens pathogens are our microorganisms that uh, grow and they will uh, cause harm to us
Now, what is the relationship of soil pollution with air and water? So, we'll compare all the three things. Hmm? So, what is the relationship between soil pollution with air pollution and with water pollution? If wet waste is dumped at wrong places, instead of composting, pathogens grow upon it, which are then mixed with water causing water pollution. So, the wet waste, the waste that is uh, generated in our homes and all that, okay, our toilet waste, our bathroom waste, our kitchen waste, okay, so all these waste, if they are dumped, that is, they are thrown in wrong places. Instead of, you know, segregating it, composting it, okay, then what will happen? Microorganisms, that is pathogens will grow upon it and then this will get mixed with water, causing water pollution. So, water can be affected because of that. Then we have insecticides, chemical fertilizers, weedicides are used in agriculture which causes soil pollution. So, because of this also there is soil pollution. So, because... Uh, uh, you know, all this we are spraying on the crops, okay, so that the crops grow well and crops are not affected by insecticides and weedicides, but they intend from the soil, they will go into the water. So, excessively, excessively means spraying it on large quantities, excessively sprayed insecticides and weedicides are mixed with air causing air pollution and similarly, excessive use of chemical fertilizers causes water pollution. So, if you spray a lot, all these chemicals go back into the air okay so the air is polluted and sometimes it goes into the mixes in the soil and with the water uh, it will flow into the water bodies and the water bodies will get polluted and so the what there is water pollution then soil pollution occurs due to mixing of human waste birds and animal waste this releases various stinking gases causing air pollution some waste may cause water pollution if mixed with water so with there is human waste there is bird waste there is animal waste all this causes very stinking stinking means smelling smelling gases are uh, released because of all our waste okay human waste what uh, bird and animal waste and so this will get mixed into the water and the water bodies will again get mm, contaminated then pollution prevention and control so what is how we can prevent this pollution and what are the controlling measures how we can control it what is the government doing government if india has enacted enacted means brought into force some laws for control regulation and prevention of pollution so they have put certain laws rules okay which we cannot break if we break then we are punishable okay so certain rules the government of india has uh, enacted and following other laws regarding pollution control so which are the laws one is water pollution and prevention act 1974 so this was the act that was enacted in 1974 this was water pollution. Then for Air Pollution and Prevention Act in 1981 and Environmental Protection Act in 1986. So these are the three different laws that were enacted in, uh, in, in our country and so they are punishable. Various laws and rules are in force in relation to biomedical waste, that is, waste that is produced in our hospitals. Okay, so they are called the biomedical waste. Harmful affluence, that is, waste that comes out from the uh, industries and factories. Solid waste and sound pollution, even sound that we generate during our festivals functions and all that or sometimes there are industries and there is a lot of vehicular traffic so that also causes a lot of sound pollution so that is also very bad for the environment as well as for the um, for the living organisms government statutory bodies like maharashtra pollution control board and central pollution control board supervise supervise means they are checking all these bodies that is all these organizations by the government they supervise about whether the industries industrial areas local governing bodies like municipalities district councils panchayat samiti gram panchayat etc follow the rules about pollution control so government is keeping a keen watch and a check on all these things um, and uh, and that all these acts are made which are punishable by law so this is a very good thing that the government has done so that we can and save the environment and indirectly save ourselves.
do solve the exercise that is given at the end of the lesson and to check your answers you can visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com you'll get the link in the description box below do remember to like share and subscribe